Okay, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that every YouTuber song fits into one of two categories. So in category A, we have music that takes itself too seriously. In this category, I believe is most of the music released on YouTube in the past couple years. It's usually a professionally produced pop or rap song, and it is clad in ego and vanity. It's more of a spectacle than it is something that you would listen to uh, out of your own volition. There's one example I can think of right now uh, that sort of fits that description and it's been trending recently. Uh, and then we have category B. This is music that is good. It's usually for one of two reasons. Either it's a song that is actually good, or it's a song that just doesn't take itself too seriously. This is music that understands to some degree that it is not going to be a mainstream hit. It's music that is good because it is relatable or creative, or there's a story behind it that we can all understand. It can be professionally produced, but also it doesn't have to be. It could be a parody that was made on GarageBand in 25 minutes. It could be a comedy song. It could be super fucking cringe. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it is somewhat self-aware. It doesn't gloat about being the best of the best whilst at the same time rhyming the word one with one. And this is music that I think we've been missing. I remember watching Nice Guys and I remember celebrating it because it felt like something I was waiting for. It was something that resonated with me because it felt creative and collaborative. I just remember enjoying it because it was something that I could relate to and I can't relate to this shit at all. Uh, I, I mean, I just, I, I don't get it. Why is that there? Like, what? why did you think that would look cool? So in an attempt to, I guess, prove this point, I'm gonna try and make a song that is more enjoyable to listen to than that, that stuff. Now, do I believe I will be able to? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. I have never produced anything in my life. I don't have a team working on this with me, so I could be just way over my head right now. But at the very least, you can see my process here, you can see my attempt, and if everything goes wrong, then you can see where I crash and burn and go up in flames. So I've never produced a full song before and I kind of have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So already I'm doing a pretty good job of not taking myself seriously because who the fuck would? Okay, so I'm using BandLab, which is this DAW that is so easy to use that a baby could figure it out. Um, so far what I have is this drum line. And I also have this fart with reverb sfx.mp3. <laughs> Now, I have one issue. I need something to set this song apart from the crowd. Because like, why would you listen to these songs when you could listen to any of this? It's because these songs have nostalgia, they have story, they have amateurism, they have pizzazz. My song needs that. It needs something defining about it. It needs something generational, something creatively unique, something so different. I'm gonna make this song about poop. I think we could use that fart with reverb sound effect. I'm gonna play on the whole like YouTube ego trip rap thing. I like the idea of all the other songs being about flexing and about like having all this money and all these bitches and this song is just gonna be like a super long toilet joke. Now I won't bullshit you. I said that I don't have production experience and that is true but I do know a little bit of music theory. I, I know just like the basics, you know? It's not because I'm a decent person or anything, I was just in symphonic band and choir. Now, now you see the problem with that is I am trying to produce a beat here, right? I'm not composing a fucking sea shanty octave Capella. And it took a bit of work, but eventually the song started sort of coming together, less like clockwork, but more like a wind-up toy. Okay, so I fucked around a little bit. I have this bass line here. And then with the drums, it sounds like this. But you know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do an ad lib here. One second. Poo, 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 poo. So for this part of the song, we've got a... Poo. Eventually I had the beat completely finished and now I just needed lyrics. I needed poopy lyrics. I needed peepy lyrics. Dare I say it? I needed bars that fart. Bars that fart and shart harder. Someone should kill me and watch my weary bones turn to dust. Okay, so I've done a little, I've done a little writing. Poop, poop, poop in my pants. I fart in my trousers and do a little dance. If you want to do me, I'll tell you my bro. I'll pee on your Gucci and poop on your chrome. Uh, I also have fart game strong. My cheeks boom like timpanis. 
P streaming on like a bossa melody. I think I'm gonna add some bars also about, because I see all these raps have one thing in common, which is that they talk about having so much money and so many bitches. I kind of want to do the opposite here. Um, I want to say that I'm alone. I'm gonna say that like I wish every day so badly that I could just come home to the sweet, sweet embrace of a woman that I actually can't afford designer clothes and I just really want someone to hold at night. I finished writing all the lyrics, but it felt like there was one thing missing. I looked at all the YouTube hip hop songs and whether they were good or bad, they all had one thing in common. They all have a quirked up white boy. Now this is a lesson that I learned at a very young age. No matter how goaded I am with the sauce, I will never be white. Good thing I knew just the guy. my good friend Arden. He's probably the most quirked up white boy I've ever met. And only for that reason, I have given him half of the bars on this song. So we recorded the whole thing and I thought about shooting a music video, but the only problem with a music video is that it takes way too fucking long. So I just made one of those color coordinated K-pop lyric video things because honestly, I can't, I can't be bothered to spend any longer than three days on this. And so I finished this song and I was just about ready to release it to the world, but then I froze for a moment. Suddenly for a split second, it felt like I understood all these YouTube rappers. When you release something artistic as a creative person, your art is no longer yours to interpret. And when you shed blood, sweat, and tears trying to please an audience with your work, that fact can be really scary. And I thought to myself, what if I went through all this work, you know, learning to produce and write and perform only for everyone to hate it? And how did KSI feel when that did happen to him? Like, it must be crushing to see your heart sprawled out on a table only for everyone to take a stab at it as if you don't have feelings. Because honestly, that's what we do to a lot of artists nowadays. We're associating their work with their identity, with their worth as a human being. But humans are worth so much more than how good of a song they can make. And in my case, I, I finished this whole thing in like two days. I, I, could, I could really care less what happens to it, so. Drop this gas and it's about to be massive. No point in being passive. What I gotta say anyway, any day. Got a big ass fart, make, make a, a motherfucker say, Hey! That bitch, I'm really in the zone, but the zone don't bring me anyone to call my own. I'm alone! Got no bitches in my home phone, sitting on my bum throne, love an unknown. On my own! This that poop type beat, let me lay it down for you. I insist, take a seat, little freak. This that poop pee beat, if you think it ain't funny, smell my feet! Let me shit, let me shart, I'll smoke but I'm a start, smoke a dart, smoke a card, yeah my heart pound hard, I'm the new Mozart bitch! Hold up, hold up, I'm gonna rip this board at ya! Poop, poop, poop with my pants, I fart in my trousers and do a little dance, if you want to do me I'll tell you my bro, I'll pee on your Gucci and poop on your chrome. Pee, pee, pee on that flow, pee in your mouth like you eat yellow snow, I ain't got Prada or Louis or none, but you still the corny one all said and done. Kings draw my cheeks, boom like Tiffany's B streaming on like a boss of melody. Tell me be hurt, your mama said to be my Pepto Fizzle, the only remedy. Here's that beat from Cold and Cot. And he ain't too cold to cry. He ain't too proud to admit that he is rapping all about shit. Here's that beat from Cold and Cot. And he ain't too cold to cry. He ain't too proud to admit that he is rapping all about shit. He's cold and kind, he's cold and nice. Can the cold is Hey yo, what did the poop say to the fart? You really blow me away. Away? Hey yo, this one goes out to all my real wipers out there. Stand up, holla at me, bro. Yeah! 
thank you all for listening, guys. This song is not available on Spotify or Apple Music, mostly because I don't think listening to this in your spare time is going to make you or anyone a better person. In any case, that's all I had for you guys today. Um, get home safe and stay kind, everyone. <laughs>